Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing an old school YouTube video. We're just gonna do, let me pull this big thing up, a what's in my bag video. I recently have seen that this video is making its way across YouTube again, which is really exciting because this is something I used to watch a lot back in like t late 2014, 2015 YouTube. Everyone had a what's in my bag video, and they were pretty fairly often done too. So I kind of really just wanted to do it. <laughs> I don't know if I've actually done one of these before. I've done like travel makeup bags and other things, but I don't think I've actually just shown like the entirety of my bag. So this is my purse slash backpack. The bag itself is from Henry Bendel and it is a bit more of a designer bag. I bought it for myself as a gift <laughs> to myself after I got my new job, which I've been at for just over a year. So I've had this bag for a little bit over a year now and I love it. To me, it was worth every penny because I literally use this bag every day. I, have, I, used, I used to like switch purses and backpacks and stuff. I have not stopped using this since I've gotten it, which I think I probably should because I am seeing just a little bit of wear and tear on this. Not enough to make me stop using it, but I use this a lot. I go into more detail about the bag itself and why I got it back in my The Taylor Made Me Buy It video because they're, she's my favorite YouTuber and I have bought quite a few things because of her and this bag was actually one of them. She mentioned it in one of her favorites videos and I kind of had my eye on it for a while but it was a bit more expensive than any other bag that I've ever bought. It's the most expensive bag that I've ever bought. So I did purchase this and I'm honestly... <laughs> I love it. So the bag itself, um, it is a two-way bag, so you can have it as a crossbody, like over-the-shoulder bag, or you can like reclip it. There's like a little D-ring up here, so you can clip the straps down here and down here and make it a backpack, which I love. This is the large size of the bag. There's like a smaller version, but the big size was just perfect for me. It's a small backpack, but just a little bit larger of a purse, which to me is perfect because I do carry a lot of random crap, <laughs> which you're about to see in this video. We're actually going to go through everything, not just the uh, like makeup, but everything that's in my bag. But I do use this bag every weekend. It's my normal like regular purse, but then when I commute to work, this is like my other work bag. I do have a full work backpack because I am required to take my work laptop, my notebooks, my books. It's just so loud outside today. But I'm required to keep everything I need to work with me at all times, which gives me great flexibility in like I can work from home when I need to or when I want to. Like today I am working from home, but you also have to keep everything on you at all times. So I have a backpack and then I usually make this a crossbody when I'm commuting to work. And then whenever I am just using it as a purse, I like to make it into a backpack because it's just so easy to carry. So with all of that out of the way, let's actually start. And I'm going to start with like these pockets in the front because this is like an open pocket and then these zip. So in the first zipper side pocket, I have a ton of just barcade tokens. Yeah, my boyfriend and I, our favorite bar slash place to go out to is Barcade, which is a chain of, it's just what it sounds like. It's a full bar and it's a full like classic arcade. They have all those arcade games. They've got everything, like honestly. We go to the one I'm gonna, yeah, we used to go to the one in Jersey City, but it's way too crowded. Like you, you had to wait like 20 minutes to get a drink and then you had to wait 10 minutes for every game and it's just hot and it's crowded. We like to go to the one in Newark now because the Newark one is a bit more empty. They've got good food. They actually just revamped their whole menu, but I keep all the extra tokens just in my bag until we go the next time. So I have like 30 in here. And thankfully, since I keep them in this outside zippered pocket, they don't make any noise. <laughs> so I literally just at all times have the tokens here. In the front pocket, I have a ripped ticket from when we went to the state fair a couple weeks ago. I like to keep little things like this. I have like a little vision board kind of thing. I might do a video on that, but I like to keep a little board of like little things like this throughout the year. And so I clean it off January 1st of every year. And then throughout the year, I add in pictures, I add in tickets, I add in just like little tchotchke kind of things. And at the end of the year, I go through all of them and kind of relive the year. But that's what I do. And that's why I keep little tickets like this. So I need to actually go ahead and add this to my board. Hand sanitizer. I also keep a little thing of hand sanitizer with me at all times. I love these small ones from uh, Bath and Body Works. They always have them on sale. Like you buy five for $6 or six for $5 
whatever it is, it's a great deal. I keep a bunch back up in this little drawer over here. So I always have one in my purse. I use it whenever I'm riding the train because the trains are disgusting here. Or whenever I go out to eat, I always just do a little thing before we eat. So, you know, there. All right, next, I, I gotta cover like most of this. <laughs> but I have my work badge, which lets me into my building. I have my two train passes. One is a paper train pass, which is my monthly pass for one of the trains that I take. And then I have a physical, I can probably show this one. This is the smart link card that you can use for the path here in Jersey and in New York. So I keep all of that together in like just one Slytherin thing. This actually is a Slytherin. <laughs> yep, it's a Slytherin lanyard. So I keep it all together in this because it's just so much easier to show my pass to the conductor, swipe my pass in, and then swipe my pass to get into work. And that lives in my front pocket. And then in my other pocket, I actually need to buy a case for these, but I just have a bunch of my business cards wrapped up in a hair tie. Really not professional, but if I need something and I'm not like thinking about work or I need to hand out my, get my business card, I've got them. <laughs> so I need to actually buy a business card case and stop using a hair tie for this, so. So that's where they live. Okay, so let's actually get into the nitty gritty main portion of the bag. Okay, so the first thing I picked up is the book that I'm currently reading. I always keep a book in here. I never buy a purse unless it passes the book test. And if it cannot fit a regular sized book, I don't buy the purse. I just don't. I always have a book on me no matter what at all times. This is actually Extras by Scott Westerfield. I was rereading this whole series. It is the Uglies trilogy, where it originally was a trilogy, and then he wrote this last book. I have the whole series back here in my bookshelf, which there is a bookshelf tour coming soon. I just gotta figure out a way to make the audio sound a little bit better on this camera before I actually do the whole thing, but that's gonna come soon. But I do have all the books here. So I did reread the whole series. I really enjoyed it. And it actually was so long since I read this that I actually forgot how this book ended, which was fun. I got to kind of relive that. So I just finished this. So I actually have another book that I'm gonna pick up next. I'm halfway through uh, Outlander. So I'm about to begin reading again, or not again. I started reading it and then I stopped to finish this. Uh, Outlander book four totally forgot what it's called, but that's the one that I'm on. So that'll be moved into here and this will be moved back into the bookshelf. Next, I have my wallet. So this is a Michael Kors wallet. I got this as a gift from my great aunt a couple of years ago now. And before that, I used to always change my wallet because I used to always like change bags and my wallets would always get worn out. This has lasted me years and I love this wallet. So it does have a little wrist strip in case, wrist strip. So it does have a little wrist strap in case you do want to just hold this and take this with you. I like using this when I'm like going down to my work cafeteria and all I have to keep is my badge and my wallet. So I have this. It's a zip and inside is probably, oh, it's actually not as big of a mess as I thought. So uh, I have my VIB Rouge card like right there. Like who needs an ID when you have a VIB Rouge, right? Right. So I have got that. I have my debit card. I have my credit card. I only have one of each. Well, that's a lie. We'll get it. We'll, we'll get into that in a minute. And then I have my state ID. Uh, I'm not gonna show the picture. It looks terrible. <laughs> then I got a bunch of like receipts. I have receipts from when I refill my transit cards because I do have to keep those for like my benefits. So I have to keep those for work. Put those over there. Um, I have got my benefits card. Uh, if you don't know, if you live in like a metro area, you can get a benefits card depending on what your company provides you with. And you can put pre-tax dollars onto that card and you just use that card for commuting. So it saves you a little bit of money, but it still hurts that I'm spending so much money just getting to work. <laughs> okay, I've got a few random receipts. Does anyone else just like get receipts from restaurants and from shopping? And you're like, oh, I'm totally going to organize those. And then you never do because I do. So this is from um, a Korean restaurant that my family and my boyfriend went to a while ago. What is this? This is from Bonchon. A couple weeks ago, we got fried chicken. Huh, what else do we have in here? Another commuting receipt. I gotta, I gotta keep the commuting receipts. I can throw the rest of them out. Another commuting receipt. I gotta reorganize my commuting receipts. Oh, another receipt from when we went out to eat a couple weeks ago. I don't, I never, why do I keep receipts? I don't need receipts, but I've got them. So anyway, after the receipts, I've got like a pocket in here where I keep like my uh, CVS card. I have a Walgreens card. Um, what else do I have? I have my medical benefits cards. I have my dental card. This is all fun, boring stuff, right? I have my dental card. I have a medical card. 
Um, and then I've got, I actually do have a, um, a corporate Amex for my job, so that stays very securely in there. In my last pocket, I keep a bunch of uh, extra NJ Transit tickets in case I need them, and then coupons. So I have, let's pull these out. I got the Bath and Body, not Bath and Body Works, this is Bed Bath and Beyond coupons, because we have a, um, the Starbucks version of the K-Cup machine. We got that as a gift a few years ago, and the best place to buy the actual cups for that Starbucks machine is at Bed Bath & Beyond, because they're normally on sale and you can use the coupons on them. So I keep these in here, because I always forget to bring them with me, and then we go to buy them, and I don't have them, so I always keep those in there. Okay, so now that we've cleaned out my wallet, let's keep going. These are my house keys. <laughs> you wanted to see this? They're like the house keys of like a middle schooler who just got their first house key, right? So there's a story behind both of these. <laughs> the story behind this middle thing that says Monica, my little half sister um, had like these little, like scholastic book, book fairs at schools, but they sold a lot of other things. And so she found this with my name on it and bought it and thought it was really cute. And she sent it to me and I thought it was adorable. So for the longest time, my keys were just this and my keys. Well, this bag is kind of big. <laughs> And whenever I would come home late at night or whenever I was looking for my keys, they would always fall to the bottom of the bag. And I, it took me forever to find them. And eventually my boyfriend got like kind of annoyed enough that I could never find my keys that he bought me like this taco thing <laughs> because this makes it easier to find like in my bag. So apparently I'm a middle schooler, <laughs> but this is cute. I actually have a whole story time about how this a uh, Monica keychain helped me find my keys after I lost them on my old job, which I could tell another time, but this video is getting a lot, a bit long already. But these are my keys. <laughs> I got my house key. I've got some other keys on here, but this is how they live. Oh, well, this is fun. I actually have the, like, uh, what is this? The program from the state fair that we went to. I didn't realize this was still in here. Obviously need to clean this out. I have a little bag of just pads and tampons because you never know. It's a cute little just tiny Victoria's Secret bag I got a long time ago. Uh, I just keep these because you really never know. My period is so, well, okay, TMI time. My period does act a little irregular sometimes. So I have an app that tracks it and I've actually gotten a lot better at tracking it since I've gotten that app. But still within what the app predicts, it's like a 48 hour grace period. <laughs> grace period. I could start, 48 hours before or after it says that I'm supposed to start. So I just keep, cause you never know. And you never know when someone else might need a tampon or a pad and it sucks to not have one when you need one, right? Next, I have a pair of sunglasses. This is also back from when we went to the fair. I don't like to wear sunglasses when I'm wearing makeup because I still get like those indentations of where it rubs off like my foundation, but it's good to have sunglasses in case you need them. Next, I have a lipstick I was wearing a little while ago. This is the Fenty Lip Stunna in Unbutton. One of my favorite nude shades. And I get into this bad habit where I'll pick a lipstick out to wear and then I'll throw it in my bag and then I'll forget it's there all week. <laughs> so at the end of the week, when I clean my bag out, I try to clean it out like once a week, which I obviously haven't done in a bit, but I'll find like three or four lipsticks in my bag <laughs> and then have to put them back. And this is just one of them. Next, I have a bottle of Excedrin Migraine. It's a little mini baby bottle. I keep a bottle at work, I have a bottle here at home, and I have a bottle in my purse. I am prone to migraines. Thankfully, knock on wood, I, in the past like year, haven't gotten them as often or as bad as I used to. So I used to get migraines two to three times a month. That would knock me out. Like I wouldn't be able to do anything or be productive or just like exist. I had to just take medicine and lie down with a cold compress and just hope I didn't die. They've gotten a lot better and one of the things that's over the counter that I've actually found that's really helped me are Excedrin migraine pills. So I always keep them on me because if I feel the beginnings of a migraine and I take these, odds are it feels more like kind of a regular headache than an actual migraine. So I just always have them on me, no matter what. All right, I keep an extra pair of headphones in here. These are the kind that fit with the iPhone 8 onward. I have AirPods that I always wear and always keep, but I've noticed sometimes, a while ago, I used to forget to bring my charging case with me to work. So by the time I got off of work, my AirPods would be dead and I have to face a, an hour commute without any headphones. So yeah, I keep these just in case. <laughs> 
because <laughs> you never know. Speaking of, I don't have the actual cable, but I do have a wall charger here and it's a USB to wall charger because again, you never know where you might be. You might need one. I have a phone charger here at home. I have a phone charger at work. My boyfriend keeps one in the car. So I'm normally covered, but you never know when you might need a wall to USB. I have three little mini perfume samples in here because it's the summer and I like to keep perfume in my bag just in case, freshen up a little bit by the time I get to work. This first one is from Clinique and it's Clinique Happy and it's a bigger kind of sample. The other two mini samples I have, one is from Amina, I think, or is that the name of it? Amina, yeah, I don't know. And then this one is uh, Armani, I think. Yeah, but they're just tiny little spray bottles. They smell nice. You normally get them for free whenever you place a Sephora order or something, but I love keeping these in my bag because they're pretty sturdy for like perfume because I'm always terrified of taking full size perfume with me anywhere. But these are fairly sturdy. I keep them in the zippered part of my purse and just bring them out whenever you need them. All right, and the last thing I have in here is my actual like makeup bag. So this is just whatever I keep on me for touch-ups, just for, you know, just in case. The bag itself is from Catrice. I got this when I placed an order from Ulta and I spent over a certain amount on Catrice Cosmetics and they sent this bag for free with it. It's actually a really nice bag. It's not cloth, it feels more like, I don't know what the fabric is. It's like latexy, but that means that it's really easy to clean and it doesn't really get that dirty. And it's a really nice bag and it's a good size too. So let's go through what's in here. All right, so some hair care things I have in here. I have a clip just in case. Ever since I've gone curly, I've tried to stay away from um, like those stringy hair tie kind of things. So I have a clip just in case I need to clip my hair back or clip it up. And I also have just like a regular old scrunchie because you never know when you might need a scrunchie. I have a lip balm in here. This was a gift and I've had it for a while now. It's called shiny leaf i think is the brand and it's just eucalyptus mint it's a nice lip balm i like the scent and i just i need to be moisturized at all times so if i'm not wearing a lipstick i need to have a lip balm on me or a lotion which is where this comes in this is a sample of the brazilian boom boom cream and i love the smell of this it's really expensive but i'm working through the sample before i put another small bottle of lotion in my bag because i can't be a human being with dry hands because I used to be someone back when I was in high school my hands used to be so dry that they would crack and bleed so uh, I don't want to do that anymore <laughs> so I always make sure I have hand sanitizer and lotion on me no matter where I am I've got a big bottle of lotion here on my desk I have a big bottle of lotion at work I keep lotion with me I have my bases covered. I have two mini face poofs and I like using these because I found that when I'm trying to touch up throughout a day or when it's really sweaty and after it's dried off, don't try poofing when you still have active sweat or wet sweat on your face because you'll just pull the makeup off. But after everything's kind of dried down and I want to go in and touch up with powder, these poofs are the best thing to use. The best. I also have, this is technically a highlighting brush, but I like to use this to just like touch up like certain areas with powder as I need them. This is from Sigma and the actual number is mainly scratched off. It looks like it's an F03, F83. I'll look up the exact number and put it on the screen, but I, this is too big for me to use, I think as a highlighter, which I think it is. Uh, so I use this to set my under eyes or just to touch up throughout the day whenever I need to. In my bag for powder, I just keep this MAC Compact and this just lives in my bag. This is the Next to Nothing Face Powder and it's a bit dark. What shade are you in? This is in Light Plus, so it is a little dark for me right now. But this is pretty good to use just for touch-ups because I tend to touch up the perimeter of my face the most, which is where I've bronzed. So you really can't see that big of a difference. I like this a lot better to touch up than I do as like an actual full face powder because when I use it all over my face, it looks a bit odd. Like it doesn't cling, not cling, it doesn't sit on my full face the way I would like it to, but this works really well when I'm just trying to touch up a certain spot or mattify throughout a day. Another lip moisturizer I have in here is just one that was way overpriced from YSL and I don't even know the name of it anymore. It's technically like a lip stain, I think, but I got the pinkest, nudiest one. So it's basically just an overpriced like lip balm. I will never buy it again, but it is really comfortable. So I threw it in here just to kind of finish it up and use it up. Next, I have a nail file. I keep it in this little like container, but you never know when you need to 
touch up your nails. And last but not least, I know I already said I have a compact in here, but I also have a compact mirror. And just look at how great this design is. A good friend got this for me a while ago and it's just awesome. The back is just very good for gripping. And when you open it up, you actually have two mirrors. One is magnified and one is not. I'm not gonna blind you guys with them. But yeah, it's just a really good full-size mirror and you can actually prop this up to look in it if you hold it up like this. So if you're in a place like at your desk or something, you need to prop it up, it's there if you need to. But I really like this and I use this to just kind of check throughout my day and I think that is everything so that is everything I keep in my bag that includes like for my personal life on the weekends and also my commuting bag to work and back throughout my full commute thank you guys so much for watching hope you liked this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I've seen a lot of really good tags start to make the way like the rounds around YouTube again and I'm pretty excited I love tags if there are any other tags in particular you want to see me do, let me know what they are down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.